So for the last 18 months, I've been running two jobs. Don't tell my main employer. I've been running a Monday to Friday, nine to five job, which is super stressful, and also running this YouTube channel part-time. And I wanna share with you all of the tools, the apps, and the methods I've been using that really helped me run both these jobs in parallel in a really streamlined way and use my time efficiently. Welcome back to the Feel Productive channel. My name's Ez, and on this channel, we explore tech through the lens of productivity. This video is sponsored by Clean My Mac. More on them later. So I broadly follow a system that's made up of three parts. Build a smart knowledge base, manage your time, and streamline the flow. So let's start with build a smart knowledge base. So the idea on this is that you want one place for everything to live. All of your knowledge, all of the things you've captured online, all of the things you've highlighted in books, all of the thoughts that you've had, everything gets put into one place. And the idea is that AI then can be linked to this one place and can tap into your knowledge without you really needing to do anything. For this, I use Apple Notes, but you could also use Notion and a few other tools. You can see here in my Apple Notes that I use the para method to organize all of my notes. So that means they go into four general folders of projects, areas, resources, or archives. I'll leave a link down below as to how to use the para method if you're interested. So once you've established that one place where everything lives, you then need to make sure that you link everything that you've captured online into this one place and to do that i use the readwise platform which is a fantastic subscription service it basically lets you capture highlights from all across the web whatever platform you're in and it comes with a really cool app called reader by readwise so the idea is that whether you're browsing the internet whether you're on social media or in an app like Flipboard or Apple News, you can capture something that you find interesting or that you wanna look at again later and then highlight it in the Reader app. And once you've highlighted it in the Reader app, you can then set Readwise to automatically export all of your highlights and sync it with a folder in your Apple Notes or in your Notion. This is a really powerful platform which basically curates everything that you read online, everything that you specifically want to capture, and then sends it to your one place where everything lives. It also has a sync with your Kindle highlights. So every book you've ever read that you've highlighted text from can also end up in your Apple Notes or Notion. So this is an extremely powerful platform and it kind of bridges everything together. So once you've established this sync, which allows you to have everything in one place, you then need to get ChatGPT on your desktop and sign up for ChatGPT Plus, which is $20 a month. And the reason this is important is because there's a feature behind the paywall called Works With Apps, which allows you to connect your Apple Notes or your Notion to it. And once you do that, it will then tap into either one of those platforms whenever it gives you a response to a prompt. This is super useful now because if I ask it a question or give it a prompt, it's going to tap into my own knowledge, i.e. my second brain, in order to give a tailored response and something more likely that I would give as a response rather than a very generic response. So you can see here, I've prompted it with what is flow and how do I improve it? And it will show you that it's looking at your notes and it will give you a tailored response based on your own knowledge base in Apple Notes, which is crazy. If I give it the same prompt again, but this time unlink it from my Apple Notes, you'll see that there'll be a slightly different variation in the response that isn't specific to anything that I've got in my own knowledge base. This is super powerful. And ultimately, as you'll see in the bigger picture, later on in this video is going to serve to help automate a lot of the arduous tasks that we invariably end up doing throughout the week. Speaking of arduous tasks, if your Mac's feeling slower, cluttered, or just messy under the hood, Clean My Mac can help. Here's what it does. It deep cleans your system by removing system junk, cache files, and leftover app data. It scans for malware and removes threats before they become a problem. It frees up storage space by identifying large, outdated, or duplicate files. It optimizes the performance of your Mac by managing RAM and CPU load. And it keeps your apps up to date and lets you fully uninstall the ones you're done with. I've been using this application for years now and it's kept my MacBook running really, really well. You can try it for free for seven days using the link in the description below. No bloat, just results. 
thanks again to Clean My Mac for sponsoring this video. Oh, and if you're liking this video so far, be sure to give it the thumbs up and subscribe for more tech and productivity content. So now you've established a smart knowledge base, a place where everything lives, is linked to all of the things you capture online and is linked to ChatGPT so you can prompt it and get tailored responses based on your own second brain. The next thing to do is to manage your time. And the first thing to do there is to visualize all of your tasks. Everything you do throughout the day and throughout the week incurs a cost to your time. And so if you wanna manage your time efficiently, the first thing you need to do is to have an app where you can manage and capture everything that you do. I use TickTick and it will be evident later on in this video as to why I use this specific tool, but you can pretty much use any to-do list to capture all of the different things that you do throughout the day, including work, social life, family, and everything else. And you can see that I use the para method again to organize all of my to-dos exactly the same way as I did in my Apple Notes. Okay, so the next thing to do is to actually visualize your time. And I use two different calendar apps. Unfortunately, I have to use one for work and one for personal. I use Fantastical for my personal stuff that I've got going on. And then my work uses Outlook. And the great thing about TickTick is that you can consolidate all of the events in both calendars into your TickTick calendar, which is great because now I've got one place where I can see where all of my time is taken up. And I can even drag my tasks from TickTick into to the calendar view so that I can manage my time with my meetings and the stuff I have on my to-do list. This is a feature unlocked if you have TickTick -Tick Premium, which I think is about $3 a month, and it's totally, totally worth it. It's one of the most unique things about TickTick -Tick in that the calendar integration allows you to manage your time better than any other app or platform I've seen out there. So now you've visualized everything, you need to make sure you manage your time effectively. And to do that, you need to minimize task switching and context switching, because those two things are the biggest killers of your productivity. Every time you are distracted by something and go back to the original task, it takes an average of 23 minutes and 15 seconds to regain your focus on the original task. So if you're in a constant state of distraction, then you're very unlikely to achieve your objectives for the day or for the week. So one good way to get around this is to color code everything so that everything in job one is color coded in one color and everything in job two a different color and everything in your social matters in another color. And that way you can ensure you have blocks of the same color throughout the day and you're not constantly flipping between one and the other. Another really good way to combat distraction is to use the focus modes if you're in the Apple ecosystem to shut down messages and notifications at certain times throughout the day. That way you're not tempted to pick up your phone and procrastinate when you're supposed to be getting stuff done. So with built a smart knowledge base and we've started to master our time. The next thing we need to do is streamline the flow. And what I mean by that is that every job has a certain workflow that is followed. Now, I assume you like me probably have a day job and probably are watching this because you have a side hustle that you want to grow. For an example, I'll focus on my YouTube channel. There is a workflow that I follow to get every single video done. And that workflow is broadly the same. So for example, the first step is always ideas. The second step is always scripting. The third step is always recording. The fourth step is always editing. And then the fifth step is publishing. So if we were to like take those five really high level broad steps, we could also break those down into much, much smaller steps as well. And you can see from this example, there are a ton of stuff that I do when I'm scripting, there's a ton of stuff I do when generating ideas. There's a ton of stuff I do when I need to record. And every high level step has a series of smaller steps. I would recommend the tool Mural, but you could also use Freeform or Miro or many other digital whiteboarding tools to map out these steps for your specific side hustle. So once you've established your steps, you then need to put the average amount of time it takes for each step to be completed. And this doesn't have to be precise, but it's just so you can identify which steps you can speed up using automation and AI. Now you can see here from my example, YouTube titles, outlines of scripts, video ideas, thumbnail ideas, all of these areas in my workflow have been sped up by at least 50% just by using my smart knowledge base, using ChatGPT or using Notion AI or using imagine.art, which helps me create art for my thumbnails. This is really the key to helping you run two jobs in parallel at the same time. It's impossible to find 
time to do everything all at once. So if you can get AI to give you a leg up to the point where you can then put your own creative touch onto it without having to do all the heavy lifting, then that's where you wanna be. And that's why this exercise is so critical. The final step here is to outsource your arduous tasks. Now you can see from my workflow, my most arduous task by far is video editing. No matter how much I try and automate the process of video editing using all of the tools out there, it still takes up the vast majority of the entire process. And it's something I don't particularly enjoy doing. And so apps like Fiverr and Upwork and People Per Hour, as well as a platform, are really good places to find people where you can outsource a lot of the work that you don't necessarily have to do yourself. This is a absolute game changer for me and has helped me stick to my objective of one upload on YouTube per week. To be honest, without outsourcing this part of the workflow, it would take up too much of my time and I could see in my calendar on TickTick that I wouldn't have the time to do it unless I started working till all hours of the night. So now you've seen how I hold down a full-time job as a COO of a tech startup and how I run a YouTube channel part-time. You basically need to build a smart knowledge base, manage your time effectively, and streamline your flow. And if you do these three things in tandem, you will definitely be able to manage your time and get it done. Thanks again to Clean My Mac for sponsoring this video. I'll leave a link to their app down below. And if you want to see all of the Mac apps that I use for my productivity, I'll leave a video at the end of this one for you to check out. I'll see you there.